Please, Kijo, don't I beg. Please, let them go. No. No. No, Sweepy! Man, these nightmares are getting out of hand. Kijo hasn't made a move since the phone call, and that just makes me so anxious. Damn it, where can that snake be? Sweepy, what are you doing up? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you all alone like that. I just... Yeah. I had another nightmare. I just need to get my mind off of it. No, I don't want to talk about it. Because, uh, talking about it won't give me any answers or fix anything. Plus, we already talked about this over and over and over again, and nothing has changed. I'm still having nightmares, and that winch is still nowhere to be found. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sweetie. And I, I know you're trying to help. I just don't know what to do anymore. <sighs> oh, um, no. I try not to smoke anymore. I only do it when I'm very anxious. <laughs> <laughs> no. It doesn't do anything for me. Smokey just reminds me of my dad. He used to smoke this brand, and he never smoked around me, but he would always smell like it, and the smell was really comforting for me. <laughs> Thank you for the hug, sweet pea. No, you just being here with me is enough, baby. I know, if I need anything, I can ask you. But the thing I need is for you-know-who to be caught. We can't find her. Her goons are also nowhere to be found, and it seems like she isn't even in town anymore. But I know damn well she's out there just waiting to strike when we least expect it. And it's driving me insane. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. But I don't want my mom to deal with this since she's already upset with me for not letting her kill my ex in the first place. Yeah, she's giving me a hard time. She keeps saying, if she offed her in the past, we wouldn't be struggling in the now. 
which I agree with, but I know it would really mess me up mentally even more than now if I let my mother kill her. Yeah, unfortunately, I really deeply was in love with Kijo. So her betraying me, my mom, basically the whole gang, hit hard. I just wanted the situation to be over. I want her to disappear, but I didn't want her to die. Though, in the long run, it probably would have been for the best. And everything is just messed up, sweet pea. <laughs> My peaceful life with you is ruined, and I don't know how to make things go back the way it was. And I know that nothing will make me feel better until she's found and taken care of. I... well... I don't want her dead, but this time, I don't think I can confess my mother to spare her. Which sucks. Though she threatened you, try to kill my mother, and I'm stressed out of my mind because of her. Doesn't mean I want her to die. I just don't want her to be here. I just want her to leave. Which I know she won't, just willy-nilly. <sighs> my mom. My mom was right. I'm too soft. And I'm just over here playing gangster with my friends. But when things get serious, I can never step up and do what needs to be done. That's a thing, sweet pea. Being caring doesn't do anyone any good on this side of the tracks. Being caring makes you weak. Being caring lets people walk all over you. Being caring gets you killed. And I'll be damned if anyone gets hurt or killed because I was too caring to someone who wants to cause chaos in the city that I'm supposed to be in charge of. Oh, <laughs> Ugh, you got me there. Me being too caring did get me you. Though I wasn't being caring, I was being flirty and was trying to make you come home with me. And since you never left, I guess my charm worked wonders, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweet pea. <laughs> with everything. Helping me with my nightmares. Reminding me that everything will work out in the end. Though my thoughts are telling me otherwise. And loving me, though my past is right outside of my door. <sighs> what did I do to have such a loving and downright sexy partner that I can't get out of my head? <laughs> I do feel better. Thanks. <sighs> you should go back to bed, though. <laughs> you can barely keep your eyes open. No, I was gonna stay out here a little bit longer. It takes me a while to go back to sleep when I suddenly wake up anyways. No, sweet pea, you don't need to stay out here with me. If you want to sleep, you should. And I'll be there as soon as I can. I promise. <sighs> I 
You're so damn stubborn. <laughs> but I do love you for that. Alright, you can stay high with me, but let me just get us a blanket so we don't freeze out here. Okay, here we go. Sit right here for me. So I can sit on your lap, of course. I do like it when you hold me from behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a cuddle bug or whatever. Just let me sit on your lap. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. Nothing is your fault. I should be the one apologizing. I'm making you stay home until the threat is gone. And I feel so bad. Because it feels like I'm trapping you. I don't want you to think that I'm keeping you in a cage. Just, your safety is more important to me than anything. Okay? Just, I just have to get a bleh. Just another hill that I need to get over, huh? <laughs> Great. That we need to get over. <laughs> yes, I will also be careful, my love. I don't want you to worry about me. And I promise I won't let anything take me away from you. <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but thank you so much for being here with me. Helping me in the way that you can. I never wanted you to be involved in something like this. But thank you for choosing to stick by my side. Most people wouldn't want to be a part of this situation. And would try to find a way to get out of it. Which, I don't blame them in the least. But, thank you for being the sweet bean that you are. <laughs>